Regina Daniels in Amaka Nedmuko. So, one more room na Lagos State in Tona Asaba. So, growing up, there wasn't really much to do. It was just going to school, making movies, and making money. Mba ne ne mamam. So, mamam ne jegoya na zi muna omu siblingsum ka koko. In my mbosi oge, ne meife, ne meife, because nchi mea, ima, just ne mea, son so, like choir. But kita, a lot has changed around me just being a mother. Owe, many things nga funa motherhood. Many things. So kita, hmm, odika. Every day, every day, as one neto, 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 I become more surprised. Like a card, the fact that one, I know, yeah, I, I, I'm sure that's why I said, let me be. So, about aside that, I love everything about my baby. I just, I, I can't, I can't place my hands on what it is. I love him more. They may a lot of things, Kita. I'm just about opening my clothing line. I've been working back and forth on it, just trying to make it perfect. And as a matter of fact, I'm wearing one. This is called the Red Blue in my fashion. So, Iyana for clothing line, Bo Regina Daniels Fashion. Afam na fashion. So yes, Muaji Akam designer, most of the designs mm, just the ye ma na like. Like here ni ingi kita like ka or this kind of things. And I also have a studio, um a TV station in the making. For now Yes, I would say. Okay, I just recently stayed in two. So, yes, I am now work on some some movies, especially from TV station. Yes, I do miss it. Then, it was every day. No sleep, no sleep, no sleep, no sleep. Just work. You understand? But it's not like now I don't work on other people's production. It's just it's just that I have to consider the security, the transport, the everything to go film somewhere. Amarum if you don't know because I don't have for anything. I don't mind for anything. You get so I just I just don't see I just don't care and I don't respond to any. I don't know how they don't bother me. I don't know how I don't like to talk about them. So really, truth be told, I don't have an advice to give because we're still all going there. Ndi Mado actually have a very wrong conception about me. You understand? So there are a lot of things they don't know, and I'm not even willing to let them know. Because if I say one, there are lots of things that I wish sometimes, okay, I wish these people would just know that I am this. So, I would just let them know whatever they want to know about me. Ndi madu. Odiro ma if uno na ko oda ndi madu iyi if they can't speak their dialect. Because Everyone is trying to make an effort, especially me. So, if you guys like, I don't really care, but just try to encourage us. You understand? Most people didn't really have the Igbo speaking parents always in the house. I'm sorry, but. Because <laughs> I know my mom will give me a knock after this video. I'm still learning, but Igbo is not really my thing because, you know, I'm not surrounded with a lot of Igbo-speaking people. Everyone is this, oh, yeah, so this, that, this, that. So I just have to, you know, so everyone just encourage us 
to learn and go try our best. Papa, my little boy, my mini me, my Jacoban, like you call yourself. Raising you is a journey I never knew would transform me into a vulnerable version of myself in ways I never could have imagined. It has made me more patient, more understanding, and more loving. Seeing you grow up and becoming your own person has been both beautiful and breathtaking. On my cheek. On my forehead. When I look at you, I just can't contain the love my heart feels. In that moment, the best I can do is a stare at you for no reason and tell you that I love you. You know, when I was pregnant with you, I wasn't ready. I was still insistent on living my youthful extravagant life. But now, everything I do is you. From waking up to eating to walking, just everything, all I think about is you. Moon, you are the smartest, kindest, cutest, most intelligent, most friendly, and most giving little boy I have come across. The things you choose to say sometimes amazes me. You are a proof that indeed the fruit doesn't fall far away from the tree. You have been a source of joy to the entire household. You are loved beyond words. I have no doubt that you will make us proud. I thank God and I bless the day, June 29th, that you were born. You are the light of my life. My greatest gift that I have ever received. <laughs>